but he does a wine like this for $26. Let's go! What, what is this? this? It's my dad catching a snapper. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the new year. Uh, as always, I'm James Paul you're up. It's not new, new year, new show. Six wines, all thanks to Sometimes Always. If you want 10% off these wines, you know what to do. Head down into the Discord. There's a link in our description. Get 10% off all of these wines if you want to taste them along with us. Now, you got any New Year's resolutions? Last year, my resolution was to stop drinking warm beer. This year, my resolution is going to be stop drinking flat sparkling. <laughs> to assist. What do you got over there? That didn't work. Because after the bloody sparkling episodes that we've done lately, I keep tasting food and I keep getting flat sparkling. I want bubbles in my sparkling wine. That's my New Year's resolution. Without further ado, let's kick off the blind wine tasting of New Year. First wine of the lineup is a white wine. And I'm in the mood for... I'm, I'm, I haven't smelt it yet, but I'm in the mood for Chardonnay today. I'm in the mood for Chardonnay. I hope it's a Chardonnay. Let's see how we go. I think it's Chardonnay. I think it's Chardonnay. Hazelnuts, like almond husk, but like pineapple, peach, pear, all of those awesome things. Oh. Yum, 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 yum. Smells like Chardonnay. Starting off the year. <laughs> Starting the year off right. Yeah, this is Chardonnay. Ah, oh, yeah. Sorry. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm right. Not, oh, yeah, I like it. That's really fucking good. That is really, 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 really good. I don't want 25 bucks if I'm going to buy 12. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Bang! 12 bucks, me. Shannon, Shannon, Shannon. If it's not Shannon, I need to get my head checked. If it is Shannon, I need to get my head checked. I love it. 70 bucks, 12 bottles, please. Keep them coming. My New Year's resolution. I am going to start re-looking into a lot of those varieties that I have always said are just like, I just shit or not my bag. Like, I think I've commonly said things like Mavedra or Mataro aren't my bag. I'm gonna challenge myself to try even more of them to understand either why it doesn't match my personal preferences or if maybe my sample set of what I've tried is just too small. How about you? A lighter shade of red wine. We have a sort of brown hued, uh, brick horny faded rim and uh, a little bit of a haze to it, so. It doesn't taste quite as flamboyant as it smells, but it definitely doesn't like do a 180 and go the complete other direction. It's a Pinot Noir all day, every day. I don't know what I was saying there. But I would say this is going a bit faster in the corner. This is definitely a bit more of a challenge, I think. Uh, but if you're in the Pinot, you're like you're a real Pinot file, um, you're probably gonna like this. Great, fine grain tannin, lovely acidity. Those kind of perfumed, confected fruit flavors are really pleasing and just like really enjoyable to drink. Beautiful pink lady sort of apple flavor going on in there. For me, that's a 12 banger. I'll pay 45 bucks a bottle for it. Really cool wine. Um, I, I'll be surprised if there's a wine that I like more than that in the lineup this week. Uh, moving up to wine number three, dense, dark, and a little bit tawny. Epic cab. 80 bucks for this bad boy. Epic cabinet. Tannin is just sublime and svelte and even and... It, that tastes like the second cheapest bottle of Shiraz on a decent restaurant's list. And when I say decent, I mean like one level above a fish and chip shop. God, that is good. Like that is, that is classic Australian done really well. 12 bottles for sure. Drink it now. Drink it in 10 years, maybe even 20. Uh, but it does seem like Damn. it hasn't had a decent amount of bottle age stores, so I wouldn't push it too much further than that. I don't really hang out with too many people who are into heavy body reds, so I'm only gonna need three bottles of it because, you know, one in every three days you go on some of nice big red wines. But for me, that ain't it. I'm gonna drop 45 bucks on that. I'm gonna buy another 12. We have 12, 12, 12. Bang it, bang it, bang it. Well freaking done. My New Year's resolution for 2023 is to Pass was said for please. If anyone in England is watching this and is creating my papers, please let me pass. We're back to that sort of cloudy, hazy, uh, funky with number. Shame about the bread. It's it's a bit bready. It's a bit clipped. It's a bit boring. It's a bit muted. It feels like Beaujolais. It's definitely Beaujolais because. It just has that profile of like primary fruit, but it's that clint finish, that structural dip in quality. Hell yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Apple, plum, uh, a little bit of pear, raspberry. That is fruit juice. Yes. 
doesn't. What is, how this has gotten into the glass? Could really be really, really hard to do. I think it's delicious. I want to buy 12. I would drink them quickly. I think they're going to develop pretty quickly. I think by the time that maybe Noah comes in the room, he's number three today. Uh, this might develop a little bit quicker. Well, I would definitely try this producer again because I like the style of their wine making, but this year that fruit and the, the wine itself isn't looking fantastic. So I reckon that is an absolute banger. What should be really expensive French wine that's a Pinot Noir for the single bit. Anyway. <laughs> Five. Same, literally the same color. Pretty much the same color. It's almost going pale when you flick it through the light. Man, these are great. These are really fucking good. And I think they're all natural pinots and maybe a Grenache. You did the same thing though. They're, they're such similar wines. They, they taste the exact same. They taste so similar, but this is just cleaner. Six bottles is the best. They're like, it's just the most six bottle example of wine that we've had this year. Sorry for making that joke. I haven't seen you all year. Shut the fuck up, Carol. No one thinks that's funny. I, again, I'm just from a winemaking and technical standpoint, I'm enamored by the fact that this has even gotten into the glass and looks looks the way it does and tastes the way it does. It's really hard to do. That is delicious. Wine number six, Big Reds. This looks like port. It has the look and feel and vibe of something Italian, and please, let's see. It'll, it'll all be sold in the nose. It fucking is. If this is not like proper Barolo, like crew Barolo, I will be absolutely stunned. Phenomenal white. It's a little softer on the palate, still got that nice tannin, and I'm sticking with Shiraz. It does have a nice little interesting apple-y sort of raspberry thing going on in the middle, but still it's not doing what the number four was doing. That field blend was just brilliantly matured, brilliantly aged, uh, showcasing a marvellous level of expression. Um, and if it's anywhere less than 60 bucks, fucking steal. Easily one or one up. Easily. Country mile. We've had some fucking banging wines, but this is just scintillating. Oh, I need oh. to get the boys in here. Let's see what they think. Bring it! Alrighty! Woohoo! Uh, first episode of the new year. Yeah! Before we get into the details of the wine, yeah. Yeah, how was the lineup? Sick. Incredible. Sick. How to kick off a new year? Stray Jesus Christ. dozens. Stray oh, dozens? Yeah. Doesn't. So appropriate to start the year out with obviously a Chardonnay, yeah? Yes, you nailed it. Oh, you don't, reckon? don't you start? I reckon. Oh, my friends, have you had this little variety oh, that I'm Shannon Bourne. Uh, <laughs> and I'm really good acquaintances with. Oh, so regardless, scream. delicious. So good. 12 easy. Yeah, yeah, 12 easy and uh, 45. Everything you said is absolutely spot on, and that's why I got three bottles for $38. <laughs> How much was it? Oh, I don't on. know. On. Hey, let's keep this trend going. Hey! It's not even- It's not shot It's Rousseau! It's Rousseau oh, from the Twitter House of Berlin! God, that's insane. Michael insane. Hall. We were just talking about Michael Hall before we as well. Were. And yeah. it's just, he's such a- He's been such an amazing winemaker for so long. And he's kind of like- Underrated. Then, then he's kind of pretty broke up again. You know, he's having a moment again. It's that, fantastic. That label looks like the business card for a luxury hotel in the outback. True. Yeah. 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 Next yeah. one. Awesome. Plastic. Epic fucking yeah. wine. Yeah. Uh, 12 bottles straight off the bat. This was just super fun and light and juicy and all yep. those things that I wanted to be. Tight rope wine making. Yep. Tight rope yep. wine making. And for that reason, Magic got the magic number from me. Uh, I went up above the magic number. I went 45. I went 45 as well. I would pay 60. So you pay 60 what easy, the yeah. money guesses are about, right? That's kind of what we're meant to <laughs> Yeah, do. I understand, but I'm like, I'm also like, I would, this hope, I would hope it would be 30, 38. Yeah. All right, right. How, how are we? 26? 26? Who doesn't want like this for $26? Let's go! Oh, what what is, is this? It's my dad catching a snapper. Oh, oh my no. god! What is this? What is this? Asthma wine. Dad has self printed you know this label. Bring What's going on here? Sick. Bring that is so over. good. The Dasma Wine Company, 100% Pinot. Gabe O'Brien. White Whitfield, Victoria. What the fuck? Dude, this is literally the world's shittest label on the most amazing bottle of wine. And the shitness, how shit it is, makes it amazing. That's incredible. That's fucking crazy. What is this? Dude, that's sick. Oh, how did, how did this, how does this exist? This has got to be like, who are you? School. Delmont Avenue, Altonia, Victoria, 301. Okay, Let's so right now, this, this here is going to be sold out within, like, Minutes. Well, anyway, wine number three. Yeah, wine, <laughs> wine, wine number three. Oh my god! Yeah, this, this is fucking it gets, crazy. It keeps good. getting better. Nah. Yeah. You didn't like it? Oh, mate. I, didn't, I didn't dislike it. I just thought this was the second cheapest bottle of red on a decent restaurant's menu. 
This gave me flashbacks of the Josh Cooper we had a couple weeks ago. Yes. Yeah, like, this, was, this is like incredible Cabernet. That I just love. Oh, they love it. Like 12 and 45. 12 and 80. 3 for 30. Okay. Adelaide Hills. Dorford River Cab. That is cheap. The Cabernet, so blended Cabernets, I mean, obviously it must be both of them. I, Seven franc. Yeah, but I didn't realise Crawford River came like at that at that price. Well, that is stunning. Stunning. That is stunning. Wash. Where's Crawford River? Yeah. It's in Victoria. Yeah, Victoria. Really obscure kind of location. Nothing like any nowhere near anywhere you'd like go and visit. It is like in the middle of the boondocks and like stunning wine region. region. But it's stunning. Cabinet. It's a fantastic wine region. <laughs> this is, next one. Yeah. Oh my god! This is one of the best lineups we've had. This is one of the this best. Is lineups incredible. We've had. Like I said, I, I think there's only been one other time in the last couple of years that I've ever done that. This has ever happened. 12, 12, 12, 12, yeah, 12. and I, I didn't think it would happen looking at the wine, and then I tried it. I dropped off. I think that this is a cool little twenty-five dollar a bottle field blend. They can't oh, all be bargains, Henry. <laughs> yeah. How much is it? Oh, oh, well, oh, God. Oh, hey, cool. No, this is fantastic. John Bartoli again, the pirate blend. He does he's some really cool stuff. Free yeah. market. Yeah, he's based in the Basque range. He works probably through uh, Anton McClopper. Uh, he's worked for BK. Else, but but um, I've seen, I follow him on Insta, and I love his posts. He's, he's and he's actually like every time I bump into nice him, guy. at it. Yeah, nice super, guy. super nice guy, but like just, just fun. What, yeah. What variety is fun it? guy? It's blank. It's, it's part of She good. She good. One of five. Same deal. Same as last one. Everything you can do, I can do better. Yeah. This is more clean, same fruit profile, really bright, fresh fruit, but just more clean, more precise, delicious. 100%. Awesome wine. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, really? No, I liked it. It was, the, it was medium. I thought that was... I liked that more. Uh, yeah, Grenache, 40 bucks. There we go. There we go. On it. Boom. Oh, dude. Grenache Sinso. Grenache. Yeah, well done. No, bro. So, trained in, in Italy, trained like all around the world. Very, G- like, GD Vira. Yeah, GD Vira. Uh, incredibly talented winemaker. And you can see this, like, you know, that thread of finesse where he's coming in and doing something natural, but just tailoring it up a little bit more. Interesting, there's a bit of bit of oak use on this, which I thought was really, really, like, suave. 100%. And yeah, like, yeah, second yeah. or third use, like, yeah. nothing too crazy, but, but like, really well in present and just kind of well shredded. Awesome. Mm. Brilliant execution. What a great wine. Finally. Yeah. Henry, tell us what you think. Uh, so this, uh, what were we talking about over here before? So wine number three was the second most, uh, second cheapest wine on the list. Yeah. This is the second most expensive wine on that same list. Uh, that's accurate. That's probably yeah. accurate. Uh, so I thought that was a Shiraz. I didn't mind it and I don't really want to drink heaps of it. Brendan. Uh, I'd buy anything that Henry doesn't want because that is amazing Barolo. This is unbelievable Barolo. This is, I was at a hopeful 60, but I would happily pay 120. I was at 150 for 12. Uh, I was at 50 for 3. <laughs> oh. Bogonio Barolo. Central Barolo in the in the middle of the town of Barolo in the area of Barolo. Good call. Well done, in fellas. the middle of town. I have no idea what it is because it says it's no name. 80, what, 83 bucks? <laughs> Incredible value. If, if you love this style of like really rich kind of like tannic, like opulent, but also like perfume styles of red wine, this is a Absolute no, no. steal. This is highway rock. I'd rather play. That can't be one of the lineup though. Oh, are you kidding? Because uh, this is. That is one yeah. of one. It's just one to dollar Pinot Noir that we all thought was way more expensive. It's a first time winemaker. If we're going democracy, it's most to- most total votes. 10, 12, 12. It goes to that. Yeah, true. I've got a weird amount of power in this trio. Anyway, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you honestly. If you can get your hands on this, un fucking believable. <laughs> um, anyways, thanks guys. Yeah. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Uh, <laughs> more dumb shit for the next 12 months too. Yeah. Woo! Thank God. Friends still expensive. <laughs>